Hi guys, so this week we're going to be taking another look at OneNote. It's following on from the video we did last week, so if you've not seen that, then click the link above or below or wherever it pops up. And this week we're going to be taking a look at how to get your shared OneNote tab from Teams into the OneNote app in your desktop, the OneNote app on your mobile, and then if we'll also have a look at how to get another account added into your OneNote if you want to share between work and personal stuff. My name's Gavin Jones. In my day job, I'm transformation manager for Fortune 500 company, and all the tips we've got coming into YouTube have either come from real life examples in my day job or from questions that we've done on other videos in YouTube. We've got a new video on Teams coming out every week, so remember to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified every time we release a new video. So let's go take a look at our OneNote in Teams. Okay, so here we are in Teams and just a quick recap then. This is what we set up uh, last week. So we set up a new OneNote notebook by adding a tab, clicking OneNote and we set up a new instance of OneNote in our team, which is the Recap Core project team. And we happen to be in the testing channel and we've named our notebook YouTube notebook because we just added it for YouTube. Uh, we added a few different sections and we just went through the pages uh, without much content in there in the OneNote itself. We sort of ran out a bit of time to then go through and had some questions about on the previous video how to then link that through to other places. So we've already got an instance of OneNote set up that's shared because we added it through the team. It's all automatically shared with the rest of the team. And if I jump into uh, the Windows 10 version of OneNote, which is the one I like to use because it's got the same sort of layout with all the stuff down the side, um, section down the side and then pages next to that. At the top of them we've got our notebook. We can open and close additional notebooks. So at the moment I've just got one notebook open, which is my personal notebook and that's saved in my OneDrive. I can add a brand new notebook and that's going to create another personal notebook or I can click on more notebooks to open a notebook that already exists. And you can see straight away that the one that we've just been into, because it knows that I've been into that notebook, uh, is our YouTube notebook. So if we want to then access that notebook in Teams or in the team um, from our desktop app, basically what we need to do is click that YouTube notebook at the top, click open, and then that's going to sync everything from the notebook that we got in the team to our OneNote um, desktop app. Um, both of them stay in sync. Um, obviously you can see whether it's syncing or not by the icons in, in both areas. And now we can easily flip through our, it takes a few seconds to sync, even though we've not got very much stuff in there. Now I can flip between my personal notebook and all my notes that I've got in there versus the any other shared notebook can get all the stuff from the desktop app, drag and drop, right click and move stuff, copy and paste, all the benefits of having it in the desktop app then uh, as well as having it a shared notebook. So you can still do co-authoring directly in the desktop app if you're in a shared notebook and you can still see people typing uh, in real time just as you would in Word or Excel or anything like that. Um, so really useful to be able to then sync our notebooks with the desktop app. This is the OneNote of Windows 10, Microsoft are keeping around the um, 2016 version of OneNote, which does get slightly confusing because it's have different functions. I find the sync slower in uh, the 2016 version of OneNote, which is why I choose not to use it. Also the layout's different, so it's got the sections at the top and my groups then um, that I've got groups sort of don't appear very nicely because you've got to go into that section rather than just be able to expand it and have it across the top. Obviously you've got less real estate across the top of the page as well rather than having it down the side. So I prefer the Windows 10 version. Same in Office 2016 though, you can still open other notebooks. You just click on the notebook at the top, open other notebooks, and then it's slightly, uh, I find it slightly more difficult to find the one you want, to be honest, um, in the 2016 version. So it's sort of down here, and you can see we've got the YouTube OneNote there. Um, but let's go and open that OneNote uh, notebook 
and then it's just going to do the same thing. So every, then every time we open OneNote 2016, our YouTube notebook is going to be there ready for us and uh, synced. Although, like I said, I do find the syncing a bit slower in the 2016 version. Kind of wish they'd moved to One. Um, if you, I send quite a lot of notes from my Outlook into OneNote and the button in Outlook, even if you've got Windows 10, opens Office 2016, which is relatively annoying. Um, so then I use the web version of Outlook to then just send stuff directly to OneNote web, which then I guess syncs down to your desktop client, whichever one you use, which again, I find quicker to sync then with the Office, with the Windows 10 version of OneNote. It gets very confusing with all these versions. With the Windows 10 version of OneNote, um, if I send it from uh, Outlook online to then OneNote online, uh, and then that syncs down to the, off the Windows 10 version of OneNote, I find that quicker than having to click the button in Outlook desktop app, which then opens OneNote 2016, because I find that's difficult, uh, slower, to then upload into the cloud and then be available everywhere else. So you just have to leave uh, OneNote 2016 wearing for ages to be able to sync that up. So that's the way I like to use it, but that's how to add a new shared notebook into your desktop app. Just going to jump on to mobile. So here we are on the mobile and it's going to be very, very similar um, to do exactly what we've just done uh, on the desktop in mobile so then we can get all of our OneNote notes in our OneNote app. Uh, and all of those will get synced back into the tab in the team because it's a shared notebook from the team. So basically whatever your view you're in, if you click on notebooks, you sort of go right back to the start. Um, you can see that my personal notebook there and we'll just click more notebooks and hit the YouTube notebook that we've got in uh, recent. And then we can do exactly the same thing. Open that uh, shared notebook from the team and then sync everything down just as if it's your personal uh, OneNote saved in your OneDrive. Very difficult to say all those One things, uh, <laughs> but uh, makes sense to call them all something similar. Uh, and then we've got our YouTube notebook sort of synced. If we go into testing, um, you then see, start to see all the pages syncing, which again is a bit slow the first time, but um, after that it is fine. Um, and I really like using the OneNote mobile app because I uh, still old school and I take handwritten notes, really big believer in taking handwritten notes because it goes into your brain as you're writing, which I guess is the main point of taking a note that you remember it later. And then to digitize it, I just take a picture, I open my page and uh, I think this is a <laughs> example of what we did in the uh, last video. I would um, then just come down somewhere blank and just take a picture and um, take a picture of my notepad and then just store that digitally. So I've got that um, available for search in OneNote, um, but I've got all the benefits of handwriting it as well. So that's how to open a shared OneNote on your mobile and desktop. So the only other question we had was how to open more than one um, account in your OneNote. Again, very similar, you would just click more notebooks and then add account in the, in the um, Windows 10 version. You get sign in, you would just enter your personal sign in rather than your business one and it would just appear as if it's a, a different notebook saved at a different place. So I guess OneNote doesn't really care where stuff's saved. It could be in your OneDrive, it could be in a SharePoint site, it could be in a team, it's a SharePoint site anyway, um, or it could just be a completely different account. Um, and they're just all display in your notebooks um, here. In the Office 2016 version, I must admit, um, which I think I did reply, I found it quite difficult to then just get the same functionality to open a new account. Um, if anyone knows, because I do not purport to be a OneNote expert, if anyone knows how to do a, a separate account in uh, the 2016 version of OneNote, then let me know. It seems like you can only sign in, sign out, or switch accounts, rather than just opening another notebook that happens to be in a different account, um, which is why, again, prefer the Windows 10 version anyway, but let me know. 
presuming if you got the Office 2016 version, you could do the same thing in Office Online, because that's, I guess, more like the Windows 10 version anyway, in, the, in that you could open two accounts at the same time. So hopefully that was useful. What do you think of OneNote? Obviously last time we did OneNote versus Wiki. This time we've done OneNote and how to share it in desktop and Teams. Let me know, do you prefer using it in Teams versus OneNote? Um, let us know in the comments below. Or if there's anything else you want to know, then leave a comment and we might do a video on it. And at me time, remember, we love Teams for all of its uses, all of its plugins. The ability to put OneNote in it is fantastic. Obviously, main use of OneNote is taking meeting minutes and sharing information. And we believe that there is still massive opportunity for businesses to get better at running meetings more effectively. If that's of interest to you, go and check out Me Time in the iOS App Store. We've got an iPhone app to help you with just that. Or if you want to know any more information, then visit www.metimeapps.com. Hope that was useful. Thanks for watching so far, and we'll see you in the next video.